Ta-da! So, rewriting using the associative property. I guess that's kind of loud with my sandals. Um, so, rewriting using the associative property. First thing we need to do is remember what is the associative property. Really? What is the associative property? So, the associative property states for any real numbers, it doesn't matter when applying addition as I'm not running out of space. Just in time. Okay. So, if I had all these added up three numbers, it doesn't matter using the associative property which two numbers I associate together first, right? Because remember, community property, um, by using that, tells us it doesn't matter how you rearrange it, A plus B or B plus A. Well, for the associative property, that purely states um, the order in which you do addition or is not going to matter. The same works for multiplication. If I was going to multiply three numbers, it doesn't matter if I multiply the first two numbers first or if I multiply the last two numbers first by using inside their parentheses. I'm still going to get out the same answer. So when can we use this or how can we use this in our, uh, in our mathematical world? Well, uh, this is going to come up all the time and a lot of times you know students they've gone through this and they understand it but then once we get into a higher order mathematics they kind of forget about it and then they're lost and like how did you do that what, what did you do so it's really important for us not always to say hey that was associated property but for us to be able to know when to apply it and how to apply it so let's look at a couple expressions and I'm just going to practice rewriting them and then we'll go through it so here I have 8 times 3x and a lot of students will get you know, mixed up and they're like, ah, um, you know, how can I rearrange this? How can I redo this? Well, we can use the associative property to allow us to say 8 times 3, then multiply that by x. Well, 8 times 3 we know is 24, then multiply by x. And there you go. Uh, here I have 3 plus y plus 10. I can rearrange this as to y plus 3 plus 10, and I can add the 3 plus the 10 first. Well, 3 plus 10 is going to be 13, so I get y plus 13. And there you go. You can see we can, we can use the associate property to allow us to do the operations that we know, right? A lot of us, sometimes we get confused with 8 times 3x. What am I 8 times 3x? One more time. Well, if you can use a social property, just, just multiply the numbers, and then you know number times a variable is going to continue to be your, just your number times your variable. The same thing is if over here, if I have the 3 and the 10, but there's a y in between them, I can just rearrange this and just add my numbers and then add them to my variable. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how we use the associate property to rearrange.